Hello, hello guys. I am Zakaria, the ghostwriter. I've been getting a lot of emails from Showmix. You know, it's been a while without, you know, watching TV shows from Showmix. You know, they keep on, you know, sending those emails. And I felt like, you know what, I should just watch, you know, Pasta Once a Wife, season two. Remember season one was the best. We have been watching season one and we enjoyed it. You know, now they uploaded, you know, season two. And I prefer season two than season one. I think season two is well structured. It is well produced because of they decided to go with one pastor. And he was young or he is young, but I think he did a great job. You know, at first, you know, he was struggling. At first, I felt like, okay, he is still new to this. He doesn't know what he's doing. You know, and he just revealed that his father owns a church and he is ordained by his father to become a pastor you know he is from Arastimbek his name is Tseho Fato Mudisa King he is 35 he is also an IT technician and the way he described himself or the way he introduced himself he said he has a farm he has an IT business and he is deep into poultry business. He has about chickens there and stuff, you know, and I was like, this guy is day five, he's already having all these things. Wow. You know, only to find out that he is saying that because of he is the one who is going to inherit those things from his parents because he has an older brother and two sisters so technically all those things belong to him he was married before marriage didn't work out and he said you know he was giving friends a lot of attention a lot of time going out there and doing what he do best i believe he was parting and he didn't even take care of his queen. That's why the marriage didn't work out and they have children together. Now, they had a group of women and I enjoyed you know, this group of ladies because they are great ladies. They are the type of women that if you have to choose one, mm, it's a blessing. You won't even regret like making, you know, those choices. I'm saying that because of he is a churchman, he is a pastor, and some of these ladies, they are actually singers, talented singers, and others are into business. While others, you know, are handy ladies whereby when it comes to tiling. She can easily do typing, she can easily do sealing, she, she is running her own construction company. They gave him different types of women who are into different industries. Then, of course, there was a traditional healer. Now, that's clash of spirituality, and I loved that. Now, the lady, the first lady that I want to talk about is... Jacqueline. You know, I wanted to know more about this lady. She is a business lady. And I felt like she was too strong for him. Because she even said that, uh, you know, he, he didn't want responsibility because she is a successful woman. She's doing what she's doing best. And I don't know why he didn't give her that, you know, attention. But if I was in his shoes, that's the type of a woman that I will keep a little bit longer so that I can know more about her. But obviously he eliminated the lady and we had Baba Alwa. Baba Alwa, she is one of those you know, social media queens, man. She want to take pictures everywhere. It's for the, you know, it's for the Instagram, it's for 
those likes, you know, people have to see her. She's more of a content lady, you know, than it's because of I'm saying that because there was a time whereby, you know, they they were exchanging messages early in the morning after he eliminated her and she screenshots those comments so that during the reunion she will come and expose him you know she will tell everybody that he's been asking for pictures now once she's saying that everybody thought maybe the pastor was asking for nudes only to read those you know messages and we just saw that it was just an innocent you know conversation it was just a conversation whereby the pastor was just wishing a happy birthday to the lady and Baba Anwa, you know, was there with her friends and he asked for more pictures of that, you know, birthday and she said, I don't want to, you know, ruin content, you know, and it was about content for him. But at the end, she made that hoo-ha thing and everybody thought maybe the pastor was not loyal, the pastor was still playing. And because of that, you know, other ladies didn't have his back. They didn't support him. And he decided not to choose any of the ladies. Man, oh man. Now we had Nelly. Nelly, she's 35. Nelly was married and Nelly lost her husband. You know, there is that time where... The pastor had a moment with Nelly where they were talking and he discovered that Nelly just recently lost her husband and she didn't even stay at home just to mourn for you know the, the, the husband. It was not even a year but she was already you know out there and she was looking for another man. And he tried to speak with her and he was like saying, listen, as much as I'm a pastor, but I'm an African person and I understand that there is tradition, certain stuff has to be done a certain way. Now imagine if I'm going to Abu Malumebako and I want to get married and how will it, you know, set? And she was like saying, look, don't worry much about it. In my family, you know, as long as we are done with that, I believe in three days cleansing and we're done. You know, and it didn't sit well with him. So when he eliminated her, I understood. You know, and I must mention that Baba Allah, she is 31, and also Jacqueline, she is 32, right? Then we had Kwakanya. I, I, I didn't, I didn't connect with her. I didn't even had a chance to know more about her story. But the way she was like talking and she was like saying, you know, this guy has to come straight. You know, he has to be the person who can match and understand a strong woman. And I was like, okay, okay. I didn't, you know, see much about the things that she can provide or, or the, the stability that she, she can provide into that relationship or the peace that she can bring in, in, in that home. And I felt like, you know what, I understand why he eliminated her. You know, I'm just going through that because I want to speak about the whole season two. I'm going to leave certain things outside, but I just want to speak about this because I really enjoyed this season two. Then we have Wuxie. She's 27. Wuxie, she's a Sango. She's a traditional healer. And Wuxie was just too much. You know, there were certain stuff that Wuxie was doing, which was not even necessary. You know, there was a time where my pastor decided to take everybody to the mountain whereby they will go and pray. And I remember when the pastor was saying, I want to build an altar, you know, at the edge of the mountain or on, the to on top of the mountain so that, you know, I can pray and all this type of stuff. And when they got there, Bushe decided to go to the waterfall and started, you know, doing her stuff like she's connecting with her ancestors. That was just dramatic. She was not even supposed to do that because we can all tell that she was not even connecting with the underground gang, but she was pretending like she's there and she's connecting with the underground gang. Yes, we understand you're a person who is deep into spirituality. You do those things in your spare time or when you are with your people. But right now, this is a TV show. There was no need for that. And because of that, you know, it, br it brought a lot of concern to other people. 
because they were like saying she is busy putting water to herself now and saying all this type of stuff and you know talking to water and stuff and she's like saying she's talking to her ancestors and they couldn't understand it and they started to highlight that thing but one thing i respect about the pastor he had a moment whereby he addressed it and he said guys there is something that i must address because of if you see something wrong from somebody you don't have to identify that thing you don't have to you know complain about that thing you know allow people to be who they are stop judging others because we are all africans you know i respect that and even when he eliminates Bouche, you know he made sure that he explained certain stuff and he was like saying if i sit here and i look at five years from now on ten years from now on you and i we are going to have a lot of clash when it comes to spirituality because of there are certain rituals that you are going to do that i'm not going to you know agree with them remember if i am marrying you you need to understand that now you are doing things the way we are doing things you know in my family because this is how Muditsa king how we do things in this family now it's going to be a problem because she will want to go and connect with her ancestors and when she goes to the waterfall maybe in the middle of the night she has to slaughter a goat or slaughter you know check and do all this type of stuff and the pastor cannot go with her and that means she will have to go to somebody who is also a traditional healer to go and perform you know that ritual and now that will make their marriage suffer simply because of she will be going to the mountain rivers and caves with another man who is not the husband because of the husband cannot be seen you know taking part of those kind of african spirituality rituals you know it was understandable what you were saying and she respected that and she said you know i respect him because of he didn't judge you know my beliefs and he had a conversation with me and he told me the reason why we cannot break out you know i understood that but she was a bit of a drama queen and there was a moment where she said this is my time to shine and i knew that she's about to do something crazy now we had angelina angelina she's 39 you know she is just a drama queen you know she's saying she's can't get can't tolagal she's the limited edition you know she's the type of a lady who likes to sing she's always in church and she felt like she can put pasta you know to wherever she wants him to be she felt like he's still young she felt like he should behave the certain way she felt like you know she can be his mom and the pastor didn't like that and you know he decided to eliminate her early you know things are happening on this tv show and she was just saying some stuff that you know i was like but why why are you even insulting the man this way why are you even wanting to know about his behavior you know in front of his congregation if maybe he's the type of a person who just want to sleep around with everybody and i was like nah man you shouldn't do that and one thing that i must mention is that on this tv show what they did you know they did something special whereby you know they had something like a wall which is the you know divided the two you know the pastor was sitting on this side and the lady was sitting on this other side there were two chairs you know you sit on your chair and there will be something which is blocking you see how they do the, the confession you know we saw them in movies whereby the person will be sitting here and you're talking to the person to the other side but you don't see that person but you're just talking and just listening to the voice you know they did something like that which was you know awesome i loved that because now you can ask whatever questions you want to ask you know you can listen to the tone and judge from his reasoning if this person can connect with you because of they realize that communication is just so much important in relationship and in marriage because of sometimes people you know see somebody who is beautiful and they get deceived by their eyes when they look at that beauty but sometimes before you see somebody let's just put you in a position whereby you can sit down and listen to that person the way they reason the way they they answer your questions and the way you know they use their tone so that you can see if the person respect you or if the person doesn't respect you or if the person can be emotional fast or if maybe the person can handle the pressure i love that that about them and we had also carol oh she's awesome you know carol she's amazing you know she's from Bitori. she speak my mother tongue you know i just loved the woman she was just great the only thing about her is that she has a lot of male friends 
but he said you know that was because of her industry you know is surrounded by male friends and you know she friend zoned those guys and i was like no man i understand what the pastor is saying because he was like saying i don't like that about you and, and she said since he is bringing that one up you know the light bulb is just you know switching on and now she starts seeing it you know differently because of she just look at them like these guys are just my male buddies they're just my friends and carol made it to top three the last three ladies who were who were there you know and i must also speak about elena manza she's a beautiful beautiful lady oh great great lady she's also a singer and during the visit when pastor was visiting the family the father was there she lost her mom when she was 11 and now she's i believe she's 25 and there was a moment where they were talking about that and you know she was crying and he had to give her a hug and it was just a beautiful moment because he was like supporting her and even before they can meet the family they had a moment where they sat outside and they started talking and and during their conversation when they were inside with their father and also the men of god there was this other guy you know they have the spiritual fathers who just decided to take over the whole space now and start asking questions too many questions rather than the biological father is asking questions because he wanted to make sure that you know Edina Manja will be married to a guy who is right and he was actually checking his mindset and see if maybe this guy is serious about the lady and asking too many questions of course the pastor was failing you know the the way he was answering and it was just bad because there was a moment where they were asking him if she is getting a gig to go maybe to perform you know maybe let's say Devon and it was on Sunday whereby they have to go to church will he allow her to go and perform the guy just gave a stupid answer and he said you know why should she go there and perform if we have a church service you know and the pastor the other guy who is spiritual father tried to simplify things by saying but she's going to perform so that she can bring food to the table and the you know, pastor was like saying, what if there is food to, you know, what if we have food? If we have food, there is no need for her to go out there and perform on Sunday. We must serve the Lord. And that's when the friend started saying, what if it's the Lord who wants him to go? What if it's the Lord, sorry about that, who asked her or who want her to go and perform their devil? So I said, ah, but if it's the Lord, I cannot even question that. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to confirm because the same Lord who is sending her to go and perform a devil is the same Lord that I'm also praising. I'm like, bro, that's stupid. Don't say that. But anyway, at the end of the day, you know, he ended up eliminating her. She was bro heartbroken. You know, she even revealed that there was a moment whereby they kissed. And that hit her heart because she fell in love with him and she thought they had something good going on. I mean, my man right there, I was not even like, expecting him to do that. And we also had Eunice. She's 37. She was married before for four years. And this one, she is master of all trades. You know, she's saying, I'm not jack of all trades. I am the master. Because even to her mom's house, you know, she's the one who, you know, put tiles there. She's the one who's doing the ceiling. She's the one who will do plumbing and all this type of stuff. She's a good woman. Man, a woman who can fix things, a woman who can just go out there and have, you know, business out there and come on, man, my children will not starve, you know, we will forever be eating and somehow, somehow she will even teach the pastor how to fix it and stuff and it becomes a family business. I thought she was a good match for him and he loved, you know, her and also you know, her mother was very supportive and she was like saying, listen, if you're with this one, you're good. She's going to fix your stuff. You know, she's going to take care of a lot of stuff. You have a winner. And we also have Dudu Zile. Dudu Zile, she's just an angel. You know, Dudu Zile, she was amazing. I thought Dudu Zile will be the one who will go 
with Pastor. Man. She is a great singer, BBW plus size lady. And she was even talking about her childhood. And she said, you know, growing up, people used to bully her a lot because of her weight. But now she gained confidence. But there was a time where by the went, you know, for a safari, you know, they went to a game reserve where they were like just having a quality time, you know, checking animals. And she said, How do you feel about dating a plus size lady? Have you ever dated one before? You know, that made me understand that she still have that thing of doubting herself. You know, she's not sure if this guy can love her with that body. You know and the guy was like saying no I don't have a problem with you know your body if I had a problem with your weight I could have eliminated you earlier but I decided to keep you because of I really like you you know they had a beautiful moment whereby you know they were like holding each other and that's the only kiss that we have seen between the two because they, they had a moment where you know when the pastor went to visit a family where they were kissing it was just a great moment I loved everything about them and for me Dudu was the favorite she was on top three Dudu, Eunice and also Carol there were the three ladies I'm gonna put the picture here who were you know the finalist and he had to choose at the end of the day but during the reunion because of there was a drama there was so much which was going on he ended up not choosing any of them because of there was a moment where Carol was like saying you know what I won't feel pain even if you don't choose me because of you already asking nudes or pictures to the other ladies and while i am here so that i can be your wife and also you know eunice also made it clear that you know what she still have her heart in a mayonnaise bottle and she doesn't want to take it out because of now she doesn't want to be hurt you know and in case if the guy doesn't choose her you know that really shows that they were not sure about him because there was a moment whereby Eunice told him that you know what I have this thing whereby I can dream when my guy is cheating and I feel like you know you and I we are not there yet I'm not really connecting with you 100% the only option which was left was was um Dudu Zile and maybe he felt like he doesn't want to choose her because of the other options are limited or the other ladies are no longer interested too much into him it's going to be like he's choosing her out of pity you know i respect him for doing that because of it was going to look somehow you know but the tv show was just great guys i'm just talking about the few things and there was a moment whereby when the ladies had to go to church you know and see you know him preaching and also to go and visit the family family members were there you know, and the older brother, you know, started asking the ladies if they are okay to date a guy who is broke because of he's a pastor, he doesn't have money, all this type of stuff. And, you know, several parts of felt like the brother was disrespecting him in front of people who are there for him, who are there because of they respect him and they want to get married to him. And he didn't understand why the brother was always jealous. But now when I sit down and I look at everything, I understood that the father ordained the younger brother and the father gave everything to the younger brother that's why the older brother is feeling jealous and that's why the older brother always want to spoil everything nice that the younger brother is doing and he's also afraid that if he's getting married he doesn't know what kind of a lady will be the magoti and that lady might not like the way the brother is behaving and at the end of the day the brother will be told to go and start his family somewhere since you know the farm will belong to the young brother you know and i appreciate you guys showing me love and support it was a great lesson that's why i said episode after episode was just educational you know and noma gigaba was the one who was dressing our pasta you know making sure that you know the pasta look good we know that noma gigaba now she changed her surname she went back to noma ngoma I have to put it that way. She's, you know, the ex-wife of Malusi Kikaba. Some of you guys, you might remember her. You know, she did a great job by making sure that our pasta look awesome. And I will cut the video here and I appreciate you guys showing me love and support. Thank you.